Hello, welcome back. Now we're going to continue on with this double stopped stroke. Now we're going to deal with intervals larger than a fifth. Here's where I see a lot of bad habits getting developed. <clears throat> like I mentioned before, the fifth is a very comfortable interval within your hands. As we get out to a sixth, a seventh, and an octave, I want you to think of a couple of things. One, do not change the relationship of the pinky and the ring finger. We don't want to think of pushing this mallet out away putting way too much strain on these small muscles and tendons. We want to think about pushing the inside mallet either even farther away from the outside mallet. So how I do this is I talk about this rollout approach. I have the tabletop, right, the, that index finger, my thumb on top. I'll just slide the thumb over just a little bit and I'll roll, actually roll the mallet down the side the top of my index finger to a point where the index finger and the middle finger are pointing straight down the shaft. When this happens, the weight of the mallet gets transferred from on top of the index finger to on top of the middle finger in your palm. Here's how it looks. There's an octave. Here's the fifth. You roll it back on top of that table and then you can bend the table. Very, very common bad habit is what I call the claw, which is where people will take their thumb, they'll put it inside the, in the, inside the, the inside mallet and push that mallet out this way. All they're doing here is putting more elements and more problems between the two mallets that need to get out of the way when we want to close the interval back up. So think about this rollout approach. That'll get you to an octave very comfortably. And then you roll it back on the table, you can bend the table. So I can go from a second all the way to an octave. So experiment with that. Pages 47 to 49 in particularly, they have these double stop uh, exercises that deal with the larger intervals. Okay, so we'll see you at the next lesson.